Alright guys, welcome to your next tutorial again. And this is going to be the share intent. So the share intent on Android is or we're gonna well, we're gonna send uh we'll just share text, but I'll show you how to share uh, image URIs which are useful. So main activity we're gonna create another button. Actually, yeah, create another button. Where am I even going? What, what am I doing? There we go. Now there's a reason why these are all separated, these buttons out. Very good reason, and I'll give that to you in a while. We're gonna, in the future, like we're just sending intents for now. But we're, in the future we're going to be uh, responding, or we're going to get the scheme and the HTML and things like that from the intents. Share text. Okay, so now we've got our method set up for our click. So what we're going to do is, um, the intent this time is just an intent and we're going to set the intent dot set action and it's going to be intent dot send no sorry action send on the list or send Okay, send. Great stuff. So this means we're going to res we're going to send off some sort of uh, we're going to send off something to another app. So the send intent is quite cool. So we're going to send our uh, URL in a minute. So we're just going to change this to be a string. Okay. So now we have that. Now we've, we're, we're going to share something. This is going to be doing the share button. This is the same intent would be used for this as the share action provider, which is an action bar thing. We might do that in this video as well. We'll see how well we're getting on. But you can set up what's called a share action provider on the action bar, and you've seen that, but you can also have a button, a share button, directly with this intent. So this time we're going to have to put something extra, okay? into the intent. The reason we're putting extra is we need to send the data along with the intent. So we're going to send the intent.extra text okay and we're going to send our text with it. So essentially what we've done is we've packaged up an, uh, a thing. Now we need to tell the system what type it is. So we need to tell it whether, you know, the int some intents will respond to any images, but some intents can only respond to text, and some intents only respond to other things. So we're going to have to manually send our set the type. Set type. And it's going to be text plane as our meme type. Now, Yep, set type text plane and then start activity for our intent. So let's run and we'll see if anything in the system can handle sharing to a text plane. Come on, load up. Oh, bollocks. Well, my Jenny motion just crashed. We'll be back when that's back up. Okay, so let's try and run that again. It seems like the. Uh, oh, for God's sake. What has happened now? Nope. Right, I'm gonna go fix this. Okay, so I've got the uh, Jenny Motion thing to behave itself. So let's see if there's any intents on this system that can handle text. Ah, yes, we can send it with Bluetooth. Our messaging comes up. Ta-da! Now, if we have um. 
more dev or more things can pop up here like this will can turn into a list if there's lots of different things that can happen i'm assuming gmail twitter facebook might come up on a normal person's phone but there we're sending we're actually sharing text let's customize that dialogue a little bit you can custom you can throw a few customizations on it so instead of start activity intent we're going to create an intent dot create chooser essentially this returns an intent which just does it and then our title will be send text to and if we run it essentially allows us to customize the title of that dialog box not very much I know but hey can look cool so anyway guys that's that for sharing uh, just to sending text now we can send extra things let's say you want to send an image Unfortunately, we don't have an image to send. I'm going to uh, load an image onto the device and we're going to share it to somewhere. Okay. Okay, so with a little help from Google, I've actually managed to get uh, this to work, which is very nice. So I managed to get some Breaking Bad comics on my device. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough about Breaking Bad comics. What am I even talking about? But as you can see, see this share button? So we share Bluetooth messaging. We're going to do that share intent, essentially. So how it works is we have our text to share, okay? This time we're going to modify this and we're going to share an image. We're going to tell it it's an image. So what we want to do is action send again, okay? But this time we want the gallery to respond. So we're going to say it's intent dot extra stream this defines a URI for the device and our type is going to be image that so this means image of any type so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to beam an image off and the image URI is going to be this HTTP thing of course the gallery might not respond to this because it might only handle local imaging. I'm not sure if it can be used to view images online but if we click share text. Yeah, it won't work. Content with three slashes. And then we type in SD. pictures this will work because it is the correct type god what is going on okay send it to image jpeg maybe it needs an implicit intent we don't know maybe it requires that to be defined ex implicitly or won't work No. Anyway, that's how you would send an image from somewhere to somewhere on the device. I use I'm using these currently in my in my current app. So that is how we send share text. Now what we're going to do is in the next uh, video we're going to respond to those filters and do you see the way here we have our URI we'll change this back to text. Okay, so as you can see, we have our extra text. I'll change the text plane again. So we have all this done, okay? So what we're gonna do now is, as you can see, our second activity can respond to this intent, and it will respond to this intent because of our intent filters. And it can respond to this, we'll make it respond to this intent. We'll make it respond to this intent now. So let's add another intent filter, okay? Okay, and this time we're gonna have action 
and it's android name equals android.app.action android.action uh, intent.action at send I've missed it okay we're going to add our action category browsable On a category default that we're looking for. Where's default in this blasted thing? Oh, now I know what's wrong. Ah! Category. There we go. Default should be in here. Okay. The where car mode came from. Okay, and then in order to respond to this, we're going to have our data, and it's Android type, I believe. Meme type, that's what it is. And we're going to have text plain. So this now means our text will res our, uh, our activity will respond to text plain meme types sent by using the Android send thing, which is what we're doing here. So now we're going to have our activity respond to sharing. I don't know why I was trying to do that thing with getting the images on the device, but we've got it now. I like this. You can set the thing to be all different types. I think I might have mucked it up in tense tutorial. So now our activity responds to that text and it starts the activity for us. So we have that. So we can uh, action send our text. Now the big problem is how do we define or how do we tell apart the different activities or what sends that activity so let's say we want our activity to respond to web pages text shares image shares and in normal intents how do we actually define which how do we tell the activity what to do because under different situations the activity could be you know that text could be shared from any application and we want the text to display on screen. So we click this. We want that uh, second activity text to change to the text we're sending. But how do we do it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the next video, guys.